So, guys, what do you make of a sitting senator telling a Nigerian that he will make him disappear all over Nigeria? He will never be found in any part of Nigeria. He will disappear literally and that nothing will happen. In his word, he said, I will make you to disappear and nothing will happen to me. So, so many people have been asking him, how many people has he made to disappear in Nigeria that we don't know? So, guys, so guys it is really so pathetic, you know, seeing this video where this senator, you know, did something very, very ugly to a fellow Nigerians. And so many people have been complaining online. You need to see this man you are looking at now. He's the one trending on the social media because of the way he malhandled, you know, an Uber driver. So, guys, a whole lot has been happening and people have been lamenting on how when giving power, you know, these are politicians, they tend to abuse it. And that is exactly what has happened in this video. So, guess what? An Uber driver was called to make a delivery you know and on getting to where the destination uh, he called on the owner of the parcel to come pick his parcel not even knowing that he's a senator of the federal republic of nigeria and guess what this man became very angry this man became very sad you know possibly he was like why would this man call me on phone to be the one to come and pick up my parcel anyway we know with all the security you know problems in nigeria people tend to be very careful especially those of them delivering you know they are very careful they call on people to come and pick up your item because you can't just bash into people's houses after you don't know what you are going to meet in inside the house so Uber drivers these days, they are equally very careful because they themselves, their lives are equally at risk. So when he called this man, you know, to come pick up his parcel, not even knowing he's a senator or a House of Rep member, guess what? This man became so angry. When I say angry, he became so angry that this guy so much disrespected him and you need to take your time and watch what happened. So people have been saying that very dark man has caught his first culprit. You know, the very dark man came out to declare that he has become an online police because he wants to he wants to sanitize you know the online space for especially nigerians and guess what when this video started circulating the very dark man took hold of the video use it to like make his own video asking the uber driver to contact him because this house of rep member is going to be taught a lesson in his word i mean what the very dark man said and also honestly nigerians have been reacting that this man went too far so you are going to watch this video yourself take your time watch this video analyze it and drop your earnest thoughts in the comment section below take a look do you know who i am so you think I'll give you my money with the way you have spoken to me? I did a job for you and you have to pay it, sir. You will not see any, you will not see penny from me. With this level of disrespect, with this level of disrespect, you're very stupid. Very, very stupid. <laughs> Madam, did you, did, who is this stupid boy that you sent to this my house? Who is this foolish boy that you sent to my house? How can this stupid idiot come to my house and tell me that I'm supposed to come and meet him in, in his car and pick up and pick up snails that, that I'm buying from you? Rats. I can make this man to disappear in the, in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Can you imagine this rat? I'm not going to give this I'm not going to give this boy one night of my money. No 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 no. I'm not going to give this silly boy one night of my money. And you've been insulting me, son, I'm being quiet. I pray that you do. I pray that you insult me. Can you please insult me? I won't, I'm not going to call my policeman to beat you up. I will beat you up. I will show you that I'm a big brother to you. I will slap the hell out of you and I will lie you down, lock it in my, in, in, in my general house. How dare you? Why should you do that? Oh, please, so who the hell do you, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know where you are? Because you saw me sitting outside here. It doesn't matter, sir. Pay me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what I am. Are you, wait, are you even looking at me that you can, you can beat me? Or are you looking at me? What? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Do you know who I am? 
I'm a senator of this republic. Do you know who the fuck? Do you know who the fuck I am? How dare you? Are you slapping me, sir? You see this place? You suffer. I'll deal with you. Are you slapping me, sir? I just did. Slap me back. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? That's fine. How dare do you know who I am? That's fine. How dare you? Did you did you just slap me three times, sir? Twice. The third one you'll still you soon receive it. That's How fine. dare you? Come on, get out of this place. I need my payment, sir. Come on, please. All right, so this is where I am. I just got a, I just got three slap from this man, here, just because I told him to come and get his stuff and pay me my money. So he is claiming that he. Tell them my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call call him. Let him come. Okay. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me. I, huh? I didn't disrespect you. I said, pay me my money and let me leave. Come on, give me that phone. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I watched this video with so much emotions, anger, pain, and sadness. Anger because I cannot go there and stand up for that guy. Pain because this is a senator that has been elected in office to stand up for the people and look at what he's doing to the people. And sadness because this guy will not get the right thing that he deserves. Because, of course, this is Nigeria and he's a senator. They will look for every means to sweep this thing under the carpet. But by the grace of God, we will not let it happen. Now, this is a boat driver that went out to look for food for his family. Maybe for his children. Maybe for his mother. Maybe for his sick brother somewhere. Maybe for his father somewhere that might be sick or old or something. And look at the fate that he met. Now, what is his offense? Go back to listen to that video properly. What is his offense? They sent him to deliver snail to this senator. And he took the snail there and called him. Oh, God, come and take your snail. And then the next thing, he was assaulted because he did not worship or kiss the man's feet. So if they send somebody to deliver something, is he supposed to barge into your house, take it to your upstairs and give it to your give taking it to your room? Now, let me, let me quote what this man said. And I will have a lot of questions. The first thing he said is, I can make this man disappear in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Again, he said, I won't pay you one naira of my money. Then the probe driver said, you have been insulting me. I have been quiet. Then the senator proceeded by saying, I am not going to call my police to beat you up. I will beat you up and lock you in my generator room. He then proceeded to slap in him while bragging that he's a senator of this republic. Now, the painful part is the woman on the other side of the phone, the woman that he called, the woman that he ordered the snail from, the woman that booked the boat driver to make the delivery. The woman on the other side of the phone, instead of stopping whatever thing that man was doing, instead of telling him that, no, why, have you, why are you abusing this guy? Why are you assaulting him? The woman went on to ask the boat driver that, do you know him? Who is he? Is he not a human being? Then the bro driver then said, I just got three slap from this man because I asked for my money. Then he proceeded by saying, tell them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I am a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call him. Call him to come. Now I have a lot of questions. The first question is this. Since he said he can make this man disappear in the whole of Nigeria and nothing will happen. My question is how many people have you made them disappear in Nigeria in that your house in Mitama? That is the first question. Number two, he then proceeded to say, I am not going to call my policemen to beat you up. So all the all your oddly, all your security detailing, you use them to beat innocent people up. He then went on to saying that I will beat you and put you in my generator room. How many innocent Nigerians have you assaulted and put them in your generator room? You will answer these questions. We put you in office. You will answer us this question. Imagine the government of a country. Then the one where can be insult upon injury. He said, I am a member of the House of Rep. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. 
by that means it means even the ig even the inspector general of police cannot do him anything because he's a senator now this is somebody that has been elected to liberate the people see what he's doing to the people so if the sen if senators and the people that hold power in nigeria are seeing us because listen to all the name we call that guy if they are now seeing us as monkeys rats and every other name that i call that guy so how are they going to liberate us when they don't see us like human beings when they don't see us like people that are that are like them they don't see us that we have two eyes two ears nose and mouth and two hands and two feet they see us as animals monkey rats imagine how you treat your fellow human being because you are power drunk because you are in the position see him see his face honorable member that's representing abba so now if you ask this man now the projects where this man don't do you know forget them anyways um to the boat driver before we talk go far to the boat driver i beg i beg i beg you to with god reach out to me I beg, I beg. Now God, I tell you, beg you, reach out to me. This man will pay for that assault. Forget so you be senator. We no care. This Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for you. Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for one person. I will not keep quiet for people like this to be abusing power and oppressing everybody because they are in that position. If that guy decides to retaliate, say you know, he beat him. This is the end of the video. See, see, see what he did to the boat. This is where I am. I'm actually with one man. He said he's. I got a request to bring delivery to him. As you can see, I don't have a shirt. He shredded my clothes and he slapped me three times. And this is the man seated outside here. He says he's a senator and that there's nothing I can do about it. My, my phone is broken because I was videoing what he was saying and recording what he was saying. He was trying to drag the phone with me and he broke the phone. Please, all out one member should please come to my Tama. All out one member, please come to my Tama back of uh, farmer's market i've not even ended the ride look at me this is me here and this is the man seated this is my shirt he just shredded it and i've collected three slaps from this man three good slaps from this man without saying a word and he has can, you can imagine you, the first video. You, hear all you, the you can imagine people. just imagine everybody that is an artist just imagine should please that guy is even lucky. That guy is even lucky. Anything could have happened. If that man get gone for jail that time for Kara, just land that guy. Anything could have happened. This is not fair. We cannot have this in Nigeria. Now, me go carry this video like this. Go show the IG of police. Let him see. Let him see what is happening under his nose. See the way people have been disrespecting the IG. But no, Allah, this is our Nigeria. Thank God, Sir Sena Abuja. When you reach time to march, you go march. And you go learn, and you will learn the hard way that Nigeria is not for one person. Nigeria is for all of us. Don't play. I beg, bull driver, reach out to me. So, Please. guys, like you've just seen, you know, so many people have been reacting. Nigerians have been reacting because there is nobody who will see this and will not comment. I mean, this man, you know, he exceeded his boundaries. I mean, he surpassed his boundaries. How can you just manhandle somebody like that? I mean, a Nigerian, you know, and you are a, a leader. You know, these are the people making laws for us Nigerians. These are the people dictating how this Nigeria can be in years to come. These are the people who will determine whether investors are to come into this country or not. These are the people who will make laws that are to possibly sustain Nigeria. Let me use that word. Let me not be negative. But you can see how you know he behaved himself how he conducted himself everybody you know looking at him this man appears to be so innocent became uh, appears to be so you know so plain but i don't know what came upon him that day that he had to go to this extreme that he went to and you could see this uber driver i really want to say very big kudos to this uber driver this guy so much conducted himself when you hear uber drivers sometimes you feel they are just you know people of anyhow anyhow but this guy so much conducted himself even when this man landed on him two or three times this guy didn't retaliate oh my god i mean yes if there if it's some of these people they will retaliate they will say it's better not to keep quiet and do what they want to do and even if they buy in the process but guess what this guy maintained himself just was calm and the senator was just the one you know doing all what he was doing and honestly it was nice to see that this guy even in the midst of all the threats he was busy record 
recording. Oh, thank God for the 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 the, 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 the um, let me say the technology of today. You know that you have your phone when something is happening, you just record the scene, and that's why Nigerians are talking about these things. If this guy had not recorded, you know, all these things that happened, possibly nobody would have even known what happened to him or how he ended up. And like the senator in his words say, said, he's going to you know make this guy disappear and nothing will happen to him so guys i don't know what you make of this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell thank you